Yeah. See, look. That opens up. Ooh. Whoa. Wow, right? That's how it actually drives. That how it That's how it drives. drives. See, look. That right there is the battery. That right there is the motor. And this, you want to know what that is? What? That's the brains. So that would make it move. That's what spins on it. Exactly. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. We are back again with the FMS FJ40. Now, if you guys ended up seeing in my last video, I ended up taking this guy out on a trail run and it did pretty dang well. Except when I was going downhill, it performed not all that great. The drag brake was extreme on this guy and I needed to fix that. It was really, really annoying me, the fact that I was trying to go downhill and just let it go by itself, basically. And it, it was just, the drag brake on this was just either full or not. So there is no programming onto the stock ESC. Uh, we all know that the stock ESC on this thing is basically a Hobby Wing 1060, 1040 or something like that, correct me down in the comment section uh, below, but I believe that it's like a 1060 ESC, 1040, 10, I think it's a 1040 ESC, but it's not programmable. So I ended up tossing that guy, and what I threw in here was a Hobby Wing 1080. If you guys take a look right there, I ended up putting it in the exact same spot as the stock ESC was. So the Hobby Wing 1080, as we all know, it has that uh, real car mode, I think it's called real car mode. Yeah, so it has real car mode where you can adjust something or other. <laughs> you can adjust something or other, or other and it'll do something. Uh, when this mode is set, pushing the throttle trigger is always braking. So it basically moves by itself and then when you hit the throttle, it'll break. Um, the purpose is to simulate the real vehicle and realize the smooth downhill of the vehicle through the control of the brake. In addition, when this mode is set, connect a single white blah, 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 blah. blah. The real-time switching of the motor rotation direction can be realized through the channel switch key responding to the transmitter. So that's what I ended up doing. I have, I think the other one is a uh, freewheeling or something like that, that you can switch, install, connect to the re transmitter, or the receiver, and everything will work. So what I wound up doing was, since the radio here for the FMS has four channels, I'm using those four channels. I'm definitely using those four channels. So we got the ESC, the servo, the lights are on, and I did connect the two. I, I'm sorry, I connected one. Uh, the yellow one, the white one is something else. But the yellow one is definitely connected. Yeah. So the yellow one I did connect, or they call it orange actually, but this white one I did not connect. So that one is the real car mode and I ended up having it so that on channel three, right there, that's channel four. So on channel three, I'm able to, since it has three selections there, so you can hear it, there's one, two, and three. Uh, I ended up hooking it onto here so that way I can just turn it on or off and it'll, definitely works a lot better than it did. Uh, I drove around in here in my office and you could definitely tell the difference. The drive, it, it, it's just completely, completely different and I am excited about that. Um, the other thing that I want to do to this guy is upgrade the servo. So when I did take it out, there was times that I needed that wheel to turn at a certain point so I could go up something the servo just wasn't cutting it and it wasn't letting me do it. So I would have to back up or move a little bit so the car was actually able to turn. So what I ended up doing, uh, I ended up getting a new servo. This is a 35 kilogram servo. Uh, this is the model number, 
of the servo. I did order this off of Amazon. Uh, I will have a link down in the description below where you can get it. Uh, all these links that I put up, they are all affiliate links. These links do help out the channel. So hit those links, help out the channel, so I am able to make more of this content for you guys. Uh, the other thing I did like about this servo is the fact that it came with a metal servo horn. That's one of the reasons why I got this servo, because it came with a metal servo horn. I'm hoping that this 35kg servo is going to be enough to power this guy to be able to turn these wheels and not have any issues, but we will end up seeing. So that is one of the things that I'm going to be doing to this. Another thing that I want to do that's been bothering me is the hood. On the real FJ, this part right here is black. I got to make that black. So I think I have some black vinyl that I'm going to end up throwing on there and make that, add that done. Then just, that'll be done. So that's what I'm going to do. Servo, do that and we are going to take this guy out, test it, and see the difference of how it was before the 1080 and how it works now. So, I'm gonna put the servo back on and we're gonna go take it out and see how it does. All right, you guys, so we are back out here on the trail testing out the FJ with the Hobby Wing and the new servo. I had a little bit of a go on it and I can honestly say, it's better. <laughs> it is a lot better with the 1080 ESC in here compared to the 1060 that was in the um, the original one that came with it. And I'm telling you, it is night and day. Just complete, complete difference. Modulation wise is completely, completely different. Now, the one thing I do want to say is that, yes, I am still running the stock motor, as you guys will see here. So, as you guys can see here, I'm still running the stock brushless motor. I just added the ESC, and of course, I'm running my 1080 battery, and there is the new servo. But... I think the servo might need to be just a little bit stronger. I think this 35 kg um, servo that I have in here might not be enough power for it. Um, it is a little bit, it's got a, a, a sufficient amount of power for it for right now compared to the stock one. But when you start getting into like more of the, you'll see, you'll see what I mean like more crevices and whatnot. You'll see what I mean. So it did rain last night. And as you guys can probably tell, the rocks and everything over here, they do have some moisture. So I am not, I just went around a full circle, <laughs> but I am not gonna go down there where I went last time, <clears throat> where this guy almost flipped over. So I'm not gonna do that. What I am going to do is I'm going to stay up around here on flatland and uh, some couple areas over here to basically test out the 1080 to see how it does and to test out the servo. And another thing is we're going to see how good or how bad the tires are on this. There's some wetness, so we're going to see how the stock tires of the FJ from FMS are going to do. So let's go on with the video. All right guys, so now what I want to do is, I want to see what the turning radius is going to be on this one with this servo 
and the longer horn compared to the stock one. So that is pretty dang tight. That is a pretty dang tight turning radius. So let's keep going. All right, you guys, so right now I am really, really liking this thing with the 1080 in it. And I got to say, the tires are really not doing too bad on the wet. It's really not. <laughs> I thought that, yeah, in the dry, they're, uh, they're pretty good. But in the wet, they're not doing bad at all. I'm trying to go over more rocks that are wet to see how good the tires are but i'm just having fun with this thing uh the modulation on this has gotten a lot better if you guys see how this thing does going downhill now if you guys remember before as it was going downhill it would just i would have to hold the accelerator and it would just go and then once i let off it would just stop like I'm trying to see <laughs> i'm trying to find like a little hill so i can show you guys but um that's what it was doing and it was really really annoying me so now with the 1080 esc there are three versions or three stages of the uh drag brake so you got basically like freewheeling you got medium drag brake then you got like hard drag brake where it's just gonna stop but we're gonna test that out um right now i've had it on the medium setting I'm going to put it on the first setting to see how it, I'm going to show you guys how it is going to basically just free roll. Um, I want to go down a steep <laughs> hill and have this thing just 
go all the way down. So, but the one thing I did find out about the free roll is as it's going down, uh, once you hit that reverse, it, it slows down and stops, like in a real car. So, I guess that's why <laughs> Hobby Wing calls it real car mode. So, let's get back in action and see this thing. It's a full on drag brake that's on. I'll let off and it stop right away. A little bit of wheel. There we go. 
There we go. So that's how we used to be before. This is the medium setting on the drive brake. And now, this right here is the freewheeling setting. Oh. There it goes. So that's the freewheeling setting that the 1080 ESC has. It's still going, I'm not accelerating. And now again, this is a medium drag brake setting. All right. And this is the hard drag brake setting. It just stops right away. I like it on the medium. All right, you guys. And there it is with the FJ40 from FMS and the Hobby Wing 1080 ESC. And I gotta say, complete night and day difference with the 1080 in this thing now i had this esc for a while but i just haven't had a chance to put it in now i finally got it in it's i, I love this thing again i really really do it was really starting to get annoying with the drag brake as i was coming downhill and it just wants to, to stop just stop <laughs> at least with this one i can still do that but I have the option to switch it for three different modes and so far I like the second the middle mode better which you get a little bit of free roll but you still have that drag break which it, it looks absolutely awesome I love it I love it uh, there is another thing that I can do with the ESC but I don't have it hooked up because I only have four channels on there one of them is already being used for the lights the set, third one is for that, the drag brake, then you have steering and motor, uh, steering and the ESC. So I don't have that, I don't have the one hooked up. But I have got to say this thing did a lot better. Tires on this thing. I know a lot of people have talked about the FMS tires, they're bad, they're horrible, this, that. Yo, I got to say, these tires in the wet on these rocks, didn't do too bad didn't do too bad now would I say yes get them they're gonna be a great perfect crawling tire no that's not what I'm saying a trailing tire for stuff like this yeah I will say these tires are pretty dang good yes they are knockoff Hyrex tires but they're not too bad they're not too bad I think if I think if this thing had a softer insert, it would these tires would probably dominate all this. I have a feeling that it would dominate all of this. So that's what I'm saying. Trailing wise, these tires are pretty dang good for the FJ40. Now, getting onto the servo on the FJ, I got to say. I thought I was going to need a stronger servo. I really did. I thought I was going to need a, th a stronger servo. This 35 kg servo that's on here, I'm not mad. I am not mad. It was uh, 20 something bucks. I'll put the link down in the description where you guys can get it at. Um, again, they are affiliate links. But I'm not mad with this servo and I'm pretty dang glad that I got it. So. Guys, I also want to let you guys know, we got stickers made. Well, I got stickers made. So, uh, we got stickers made. I did check on the store and they were like $8.99. Um, and you can get three different sizes. That's no more. I only have one size now, which is a three by three and a half which is this sticker right here. There is a limited amount of 32 as of right now. We're May 26, I believe. 
so May 26th. Right now, we do have a limited amount of 32. I am in the works of getting more made and getting different types of stickers made to put on the store until I get shirts and hats put on the store. So for right now, I just got the stickers and I'm trying to hope that I can get some funds in so I can be able to get the hats and the shirts made for you guys. So that is where I'm at everybody. That is where the channel's at. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. We're almost there. Guys, we're at 943, I believe. We're 945. We're in between there. Guys, help us out. Help me out so I can get more content for you guys. Not just of this, but more of this. More of this. This is just beautiful out here this is calming you come out here with your rc you're having fun and you're relaxed this is what i love about this hobby is you come out to places like this which is just beautiful and even though they're calling for rain today <laughs> but this is just beautiful out here guys so do me a favor hit that like button subscribe hit the notification bell Click on those affiliate links. Help us out so I can get more content out for you guys. Guys, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Keep our seeing.